Barry Loudermilk, he represents Georgia's 11th Congressional District, also sits on the subcommittee on oversight and investigations. Sir, thank you for making the time. Hope your Thanksgiving was good and Merry Christmas to you. Uh, calling for a forensic analysis, you are, of Dominion voting machines. Do you think that's going to get done, uh, that's going to get done, number one? And who can we trust to perform this analysis in your view? Well, that's the, the many moving parts of this. Who do you trust in all this? I mean, we're looking at it now where the a judge has, as you just reported, has uh, basically impounded certain voting machines to make sure they don't wipe the data. Then we find out Fulton County effectively wiped its data because of an IT technician, which appears to be a county employee, used the wrong server for the recount after Dominion told him not to use that server. And just in case that there was a problem, they backed up the data, but they backed it up on the same server that crashed. And so uh, now we're looking at a, an instance, uh, do we even have the data on the Fulton County servers? We don't know, but there are just so many issues that have to be investigated. And the biggest is the signature verification, which I know the governor has called for, and it's in the purview of our secretary of state, but he's saying he can't do it. It won't change the outcome of the election. That's fine, but we've got to find out are there people voting in Georgia that are not supposed to be voting because this isn't the only election we have coming up? Well, see, and you led me right where I wanted to go because with all of these outstanding questions, and I'm, I'm not convinced that all of those signatures with mail-in voting uh, wouldn't be enough to overturn the election, but we'll leave that uh, uh, aside for a moment. There's another, uh, there's a couple of big races, a couple of Senate races, which could determine the future of the United States. I'm not being rhetorical. And with all of these outstanding questions, it seems the Republicans who run the state of Georgia could give a damn about answering these questions. Well, the, the, one of the issues we have, and a little bit in the defense of the governor, I wish he was a little more forthcoming and a little stronger on some of these issues. But in Georgia, our secretary of state is a constitutional officer that's it's elected statewide. And so a lot of the issues are constitutionally in his purview. But also the, the, the legislature, the General Assembly, has a lot of say in this as well. And we've been calling on them to uh, be a little more aggressive in calling for this signature verification. What the Secretary of State is saying is, look, in Georgia, we still have the secret ballot. So once the envelope is opened and the, and the signatures are verified, the ballot is separated and you can't link those together. So if you find uh, fraudulent voters out there, we don't know what ballot uh, was theirs in the system. 